the handling fixed plate to the long arm adapter plate with the RJ11 cable. Insert the right interface connector into the number 3 socket and the left one into the number 2 socket. Here we will get the four servos from the high to the lowest as the first, second, third and the first servo. Wrap the connecting lines of the first and second servo with the cable pad. Before wrapping, leave the connecting line of the first servo with a long pad unwrapped and the best of the second servo with a short pad unwrapped to distinguish them from each other. Wrap the connecting lines of the third and the first servo with another cable pipe in the same way. Insert the connector of the first servo into the number 4 port. Please be careful that the pin corresponding to the yellow well of the connecting line of the four servos should be inserted towards the direction of the servos. Insert the third one to the number 5 port. And the second one to the number 6 port and the first one to the number 7 port. Connect the USB port of the control board to that of the computer with the USB Type-C cable. Open the program and start citing the serial port. Check the port and the device manager in your computer. Set the model number of the MCU. And click upload and wait until it's done. There are four quotation meters to control the arms. Rotate the white quotation meter to control the highest servo, namely the first servo. Rotate the yellow one to control the second servo, and the orange one to control the third servo, and the right one to control the fourth servo. Rotate the white rotation meter to control the first servo, and then press the button for less than one second to record the scan. Similarly, press the button within one second after you rotate a rotation meter or two rotation meters. But the latter one is recorded as one step. After you set all the steps, press the button for more than one second to make the car repeat all the recorded steps. Open this file and open the inner file. Click Tools and choose your serial port. Click Upload and wait until it is done. After downloading, install the PC software. Open this file and find the setup file. Set the installation path of the software. Here, just select the default setting and then click Next. Click Finish. Open the PC software, which includes two parts, namely manual control and automatic control. There are three icons at the top left. Click the middle one to run the software. Select your serial port and click Start. You can slide the sliding bar on the interface to control row arm. The mode 1, 2, 3, and 4 correspond to the four servos from the bottom to the upper. 
slide the sliding bar of the motor 1 to control the first servo, the motor 2 to control the second servo, and the motor 3 to control the third servo, and the motor 4 to the fourth servo. Build the value of the rotating angle of the servos into the table one by one. Write the interval time below the table. The first interval time refers to the time between sliding the rotating angles of two grooves. Each row considers as one groove. The second interval time refers to the one between sliding the two adjacent rotating angles visiting a groove. After filling the group figures, click the start button. Row on the repeat steps we set. Pay attention that the range of the data for mode 4 runs from 19 to 118, otherwise it will be damaged due to storing.